still remember it so vividly. That frigid snowscape. When I closed my eyes, I was prepared to sleep for eternity. Hey, are you all right? <sighs> who, who are you? Sorry if I gave you a shock. My name is Shugen Tomiya. Here, put this on. It's cold out here. Your hair. It's... Outlander. Savage. Demon child. Shunned by my village and family, I fled my home. I had grown used to the cold. Or so I thought. Cherry trees blossom upon Mount Yoshino. Unwittingly, we thought them snowflakes. Mount Yoshino? It's an old poem. You are like a single flower blooming amid the snow. No one had ever said that to me before. Never had snow felt so warm. I shall never forget that day, so long as I live. Shugen. Setsuka, the Batojutsu warrior of golden hair and bright blue eyes. Born to Japanese and Portuguese parents, she lost her family not long after birth. Her unique looks earned her nothing but scorn, and soon she fled her home. She was found by none other than Shugen Kokonoe, a young warrior studying Shinden Tsushima Ryu Batojutsu. He took her as his disciple, trained her day and night, and built her into a strong and beautiful woman. But now she faces a trial harsher than any before. Shugen is dead, having suffered fatal wounds in a duel. Bereft of the only person she considered family, Setsuko wanders without purpose. Master, one year has come and gone. Yet I still struggle to find my own path. But rest in peace knowing I will not pursue revenge. I gave you my word, and I will honor it. And what would you do if you knew his name? Isn't it obvious? Those wounds will kill you, Master. I... I must right this wrong. Setsuka. Warrior of Kokonoe, I did not teach you my techniques for revenge. Never had I felt more alive than the moment I crossed swords with that man. I lived my life by the blade, and I do not regret dying by it. I am the same, Master. I would die by the blade. Listen, Setsuka. You need not adhere to my way of life. If you but carry on the art of Bato Jutsu, that will suffice. <sighs> Do not endanger your life trying to avenge your teacher. I wish for you to live your own life, free and unburdened. <coughs> Please, Setsuka. He thinks, he thinks I'm, I'm too, too weak. weak. 
that I'll die if I pursue revenge. I understand, Master. Thank you, Setsuka. My soul shall be at peace. Also, I wish to apologize for hiding so much from you all this time. You needn't apologize for that, Master. You saved me and raised me as your own. No one could ever replace you. And... and I... I don't need to know anything else. I never even thought to ask. The man I dueled with is named Heishiro Mitsurugi. He employs a style of unparalleled strength. He calls Tenpu Kosai Ryu. Blessed with innate talent, he cuts through humans, demons, even gods. The era of swords nears its end. I believe he may be the final hero of this age. I've never, never seen Master hold, hold so much respect, respect for, for another's, another's blade, blade work. work. <coughs> Master! I'm sorry, Setsuka. I don't have much time left. Should you ever lose your way, seek out Sakan Inobe. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Just hold on, I'll go get some medicine. No. Stay by my side. Master, not long after, you... And what if I am? Chicken away. I won't stand for such insults. You lost your cool six times. Fell for my moves eight. Oh, and work on your towel. Your right eyebrow twitches every time you draw. Do not spout nonsense at me. Ugh, fine. Nonsense. 
Have it your way. Now, how about you tell me why the Kokonoe clan is after me? I am here to retrieve the hidden scroll you stole. Nothing more. I don't know or care about your stupid scroll. Master didn't leave anything like that behind anyway. I see through your lies, girl. I will sniff out that scroll no matter what. <sighs> when you awake and tell this to whoever sent you, come after me again and I'll burn every scroll I find. <laughs> Curse it, Outlander. So I'm a cursed Outlander, huh? You Kokonoe bastards never change. Oh, wait, Outlander. Hidden scrolls. I think I've heard that somewhere before. Ah, right. Two years ago, on the anniversary of the day I met Master. Want, girl. I don't like the look in your eyes. You're mocking me, just like your father. You should be grateful we gave you a place to stay, Welp. And I'm only doing that much to settle up with your dad. Defy me again, and you're dead. Grateful? I never, I never asked, asked to be here in the, the first place. place. The whole town's whispering about us thanks to you. I've had enough of some demon child living under my roof. <laughs> the child of a demon is a strong one indeed. I'll just say you broke it. Now clean up every last bit. This has brought nothing but pain. I hate this place. I hate it. Setsuka. Warrior Shinden Sushimaru. Setsuka! Y yes Master. Good morning. Are you awake now? Master, oh thank goodness. Thank goodness for what? I... Uh... Thank goodness you came back safe from your night watch. I, I mean, I know you'd never lose, but I was still worried. <laughs> Thank you for the concern. I've returned, and now I must rest. Okay, I'll go practice what you taught me yesterday. Ah, yes. While you're at it, could you go to Nagasaki and buy some fish? Don't worry about the price. Pick the tastiest one you can find. Are you sure? Oh, wait, isn't today? That's right. It's Setsuka Day. The day I took you as my apprentice. I hope to buy you a nice kimono from Kyoto, but alas. <laughs> it's all right, Master. I wouldn't look good in something that fancy. Okay, I, I should get going. Rest well. Seems the past cannot be forgotten so easily. Let's see. Next is the salt merchant. Ah, and we need more miso, too. Hey, you. Do you need something? You keep staring at me. 
Sorry, it's nothing. Pretty girl, but she bites. Wait, one second look. Isn't that an outlander? <sighs> All right, that's everything. I guess I'll head back now. <laughs> She's an even better catch than I'd heard. Excellent work. <laughs> Isn't she? Hey, Missy. The young master here has taken a shine to you. Why don't you give him some attention? <sighs> oh, poor thing. Must have been hard growing up half a savage. Come with me. I can promise you a better life. You don't have to, but there are some rowdy men on our side who might get upset if you refuse. See? That's Simba. You must be from Naritaya. I heard you're all a bunch of lowlifes who prey on the weak. What? Being a savage, I've heard the rumors about you from your other targets. Now's as fine a time as any to teach you a lesson. Wench, you're asking for it now! What have you... done? What does it look like? Or is that the blood loss talking? You witch! Hey, you there! Snap out of it and shoot her! <gasps> It'll take more than that. Payback time! She deflected it with... her umbrella? There's no, no more dirty tricks! Huh! I could avoid flimsy little arrow in my sleep. You'll need a Tanegashima if you want to hit me. And if you were up against my master, not even bullets would save you. Amazing! She's the best umbrella wielder in Japan. Go, miss! Bring him down! Damn it! You're all useless! You! Get her! Oh, hey! You look like a strong warrior! Help me! Huh? You talking to me? This cursed Outlander! Do away with her! All I did was treat her kindly and she drew a blade on me! Ugh. I was simply brushing off the filth that dare touch me. That is how you terrorize the weak, is it not? And you, are you going to side with this bottom-feeding lecher? But, miss, your blade work. Letcher, you insult me! I would have treated you so well, I... But, miss, you're... Uh, what was I gonna ask? This samurai's good. Just, Just need, need to, to buy, buy some, some time, time and escape. escape. Have you come to gawk at the Outlander girl as well? Trust me, till just recently I was the Outlander. Someone's coming. Now's, Now's my chance. chance. I got in too deep back there. I still feel, feel like, like someone's, someone's watching, watching me. me. I have, I to, have be to be careful, careful on my way home.
I'm home. Sorry I'm late. I had to take the long way back. Huh? Master's sandals are gone. Someone's outside, and it's not Master. Lord Yobu, would he really be in such a place? Indubitably. Were you the ones who followed me here? Naturally. We've come to punish the girl who settles personal quarrels with Shinden Tsushima Ryu techniques. Ugh. Teaching our sacred arts to this barbaric little girl. The very idea brings us shame. I don't know who you are, but if you dare insult my master, you're in for some pain. Take it back. has mastered San Noble Son already? Impossible! I, Goro Saimon Yamabuki, one of Lord Yobu's greatest disciples, shall be your opponent. with the formal techniques. Well, have some... Enough, Yamabuki. You must not kill her. Your skills are impressive, young lady. Who taught you? You think I'd tell you, Mushroom Head? <laughs> Mystic Arts, Zonki. Obey me and suffocate. <laughs> I can't... Break. There's no use hiding it. Your master is Shugen Naokage Kobunoe. Even your eyes disgust me, daughter of savages. And you don't need eyes to use a sword. Here, I'll gouge them out for you. <clears throat> That's my disciple you're messing with. Kyobu Kokonoe. That was Zanki, a secret art of the hidden Kokonoe, and not easily broken. I'll teach you later. <coughs> Master! I see your skill has not waned. Shugen Naokage Kokonoe. But you're a shadow of your former self. No wonder I could not find you these 13 years. <laughs> My name is Shugen Tomiya now. What does the clan want with a deserter? Hmm. Well, I would love your secret techniques and your hidden scroll. Come. Rejoin the clan. And all will be forgiven. I never took you as one to joke. Now I'll get up. I knew you'd say that. Very well. Have you heard of Heishiro Mitsurugi of Tenpu Kosai Ryu? Yes. Though only whispers. Then all is in order. Let us return, Yamabuki. Yes, my lord. In the Outlander's religion, they say 
you reap what you sow. But by the laws of this land, it is the master who reaps what their disciple sows. What are you trying to say? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Yobu Kokonoi mentioned a hidden scroll. He even spoke of Mitsurugi. But why? Should I ever lose my way, seek out Sakan Inobe? Well, it doesn't suit me to sit around and wait. Let's get going. Kokonoe goons couldn't keep up with me. Not that they'd follow me all the way to Omi province anyway. Another, Another long, long journey. journey. If only, only I'd, I'd hurried, hurried home, home sooner the last time. time. Setsuka, see this letter and parcel reach one Sakan Inobe in Omi province. Omi? Cross over to Honshu, traverse the Sanyodo, then pass through the capital regions. Apologies. I know you're not used to long journeys. Let's see. If I walk, then I'll have to go through Chikuzen, Buzen, Nagato, Suo, Aki, Bingo, Bichu, Bizen, Harima, Setsu, Yamashiro. You, your memory is impressive. <laughs> well, I always wanted to travel with you. But you're not very good at remembering names, so I memorize them. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Besides, I'd do anything to help you. Uh, by the way, does this delivery have anything to do with that Kyobu Kokonoe person? Well, it... it could be related to him, yes. <sighs> There is nothing to fear. This place will always be here for you. Go without worry. <clears throat> that hair. You must have had quite the journey. I've heard word that Shugen has passed. It was one year ago. <sighs> o Deus who dwells in heaven, embrace Shugen Kokonoe and forgive him his sins. Now, for a greeting, let us duel. You appear much stronger than last we met. Will you not draw? Armed or not, my two swords know no mercy. You were the one who told me once not to fall for others' words so easily. Come for me anytime, anywhere. I have trained for this. Your 
Shugan left you with some parting words. He asked me not to seek revenge, only to inherit his teachings and live unburdened. Then will you finally accept my offer to train you? As I said before, it would be a shame to waste your potential. Wasn't that just a means to keep me here? You knew my master was going to duel Mitsurugi, didn't you? I did. Shugan wrote about it in his letter. Is it because he thought I'd be a burden to him? If you feel it so, then perhaps it was. At the very least, it is true that Mitsurugi is no ordinary opponent. <sighs> Apologies. I digress. Surely there is a reason you came all the way here. Might I ask it? I am being pursued by Kokonoe clansmen seeking a hidden scroll. I figured you might know something. Hmm. Come with me. Listen, Setsuka. Shinden Tsushima Ryu is unforgiving. It requires absolute tranquility and precision, honed through relentless training. Heishiro Mitsurugi is known as War's bodyguard, a master of sword fighting. As such, perhaps Shugen simply needed time alone to return to form. I knew from the moment we crossed blades that Shugen put his full faith in you. You wield his blade, Ugetsu Kagauchi, and an arsenal of his personal techniques. Not belittle yourself, no matter how others may see you. What you have inherited is Shugen Kokonoe's very soul! Is this... Shugen is dead. So do what you will with the Hidden Scroll. Hand it to Kyobu and sever yourself from the clan if you wish. But if you wish to defeat someone at all costs, there is another option. And that is? There are nine Shinden Tsushimaryu scrolls in existence. You have one. The Kokunoe clan has four. The others are yet lost. If you were to master all those moves, I think I need to say no more. Yes, but I must not seek revenge. You still know nothing of Shugen. If you have the courage to learn of Shugen's past, then you will use those eyes, those ears, and that heart to uncover the truth. I owe my life to Master. He gave me a home and taught me the sword. I never, I never wished, wished for, for anything, anything more. more, and yet... No matter where I go, I always feel the most at home in Japan. 
Now, if only I had the Soul Edge with me. Well, if I can't find it, then I'll just have to find something stronger, huh? to the arrow deflection. And what was that about her master divine bullets? I must know more! Hey! You look like a strong warrior! Help me! Huh? You talking to me? This cursed Outlander! Do away with her! All I did was treat her kindly, and she drew a blade on me! Ugh. I was simply brushing off the filth that dare touch me. That is how you terrorize the weak, is it not? And you, are you going to side with this bottom-feeding lecher? But miss, your blade work! L lecher you insult me! I would have treated you so well, I... But miss, you're... Uh, what was I gonna ask? <laughs> have you come to gawk at the Outlander girl as well? Trust me, till just recently I was the Outlander. That is the blade work of Shinden Tsushima Ryu Batochutsu. Remember it well. Damn! That's the head of the Kokonoi clan! Let's get out of here! Yeah, let's go before Lord Yobu's mood turns sour. Shinden Tsushimaru, you say? Are you that girl's teacher? The Kokonoi clan does not teach outlanders. Indubitably, she learned it from a foolish exile teaching tricks to foreigners for amusement. It is a grievous sin to settle personal quarrels with our techniques. Such behavior is punishable by death. Oh, very harsh. So that's why the last ran away so quickly. A futile effort. We've already sent someone after her. <laughs> That man was quite the fighter. Has he defeated the Tanagashima as well? Either way, that makes one swordsman who can best bullets with a blade. I mustn't fall behind! I'll defeat you yet, Tanagashima! A musket ball could reach such speeds. You 
know you could die. Give me your best shot. Damn. Serves me right for thinking guns were just fancy metal rods. But now, I've found a worthy opponent! What was it? Edgy murder you? I can't beat them alone, but some Batojutsu might just do the trick! To defeat those swift bullets, I need to become swift myself. My search for powerful weapons can wait. If Tanegashima moves in three steps, ready, aim, and fire... Then I shall move in one! No need to make it a special occasion. I'm not here to challenge your dojo's honor. Well, no matter. We've got plenty more room here. Now show me the blade that moves in one. so proud of. Find more skilled warriors like that Outlander. Can you keep up? Time to end you! Depart! This life! Can't stand? You're done for. These guys were a waste of time. Forget moving in one. These guys were slower than a geisha song. You dare strike while we were away? Craven, I shall send you straight into the next life insulting us like that. Oh, you're a feisty one. Come on, let's have a round. Very well. You challenge one of the greatest disciples of Lord Kyobu, Korosaimon Yamabuki! Leave him be, Yamabuki. The uncultured swine dares to speak of Geisha. Indubitably laughable. But my lord! His shame shall taint us if it goes unpunished. Dignity is a matter of life and death for the Kokonoe clan. If you pursue a fight here, you'll be the one sent into the next life. Risking one's life for idle amusement is the act of a lowly ronin. If my lord so wishes, I shall stand down. 
So we meet again, Heishiro Mitsurugi. I don't recall ever telling you my name. Have you come to challenge me then? Lord Kyobu is the master of Tsushima Ryu. He would not deign to fight a hoodlum. Tsushima Ryu? Look, I have my own situation here. I need to see a true master's techniques. Indubitably. Your terms. Speak them. Indubitably what now? My lord asks you to explain yourself. I hear there's a master among you whom even bullets cannot harm. I wish to learn the techniques that can best the Tanagashima. Bullets? Ah, so you have heard the rumors. However, that man abandoned his own clan and disappeared 13 years ago. What? He's not here? Well then, I guess I'll just have to get you to show your full potential. Shugen Kokonoe. Huh? Shogun who? He is the man you seek. As you wish, I shall grant you a duel with him. Hmm. And in exchange, I suppose you want me to leave? He is strong. Far stronger than even you, the so-called War's Bodyguard. <laughs> Just as I'd hoped. I'm looking forward to training tomorrow. I'll leave the arrangements to you. I'll be back. My lord, is this why you left Shugan alone last time? Naturally. I've no sympathy to spare for scoundrels like him. Even so, would he respond to a sudden summons for a duel? Indeed. That is his nature. Besides, how much can a man truly change in only 13 years? Aha! The Lord's intuition is clear as a mirror, his conjecture sharp as an arrow. No. He and I merely share the same curse. Come, Yamabuki. Might you be Heishiro Mitsurugi? Hmm. He carries a sword, but his guard's down. Not an assassin. So... I am. Has the day of the duel been decided? Yes. When the sun meets the horizon. At the Murakumo Shrine, on the eastern edge of Gekyu's territory. The details are inscribed upon this document. Many thanks. Anything else? A gift. I wish to share this drink with you, if I may. Well, aren't you a fine fellow? <laughs> Here, a cup for you. If I may ask, why do you seek such strength? Ugh, that's a good drink. Well, I was born the fourth son of a poor farmer in Bizen. But with the wars came raids on our fields. Samurai, bandits, wandering swordsmen, you name it. Then there were droughts, storms, earthquakes. All we could do was pray. 
Nature took what men didn't, and soon everybody but me was dead. So, you put down the plow and took up the sword. That's right! I took up sword fighting, and was soon besting the bandits and samurai. I see. Allow me to pour you another drink. And it was all going well until that damn Tanegashima appeared. Whether common ground or simply due to the looming duel, Mitsurugi felt something was special about this man. Before he knew it, he'd spilled half a lifetime's worth of stories. Eventually, talk turned to sword fighting. Mitsurugi, whose fighting style saw him through many bouts, had little to say to those who had not fought. Yet he felt this man had lived through the same perils he had, perhaps worse. The Tanegashima moves in three steps. Ready, aim, and fire. So, I've got to move in one. And that's when it hit me. That Outlander girl's Batojutsu! Huh. I see. Were it simply a matter of speed, though, the gunman need only speed his movements as well. If you truly wish to surpass the Tanegashima, you must pursue not one, but zero. The Muzan Nozan of Shinden Tsushimaryu. No Zen? Like meditation? Not quite. It means cut without cutting. Striking without the intention to strike. Removing not only the act, but the very desire. Sounds familiar, but never witnessed it myself. It's real. I assume nobody who's seen it has lived to tell the tale. Perhaps not. But I presume you know... this. What?! You cut! Uh, you didn't cut me? Uh, what was that?! This is what we of Tsushima Ryu call Zan no Muzan. One slices with sheer force of will. That was better than I ever imagined! You must be Shogun Kokonoe! You surprised me as well. Your reaction was so swift, one could hardly think it human. I was simply reacting to you! Mitsurugi, your sight and senses are incredibly sharp. Learn to control them so you can meet your opponents with the appropriate amount of force. I look forward to seeing how you grow in these two weeks. Until then... Huh. Very well, Shogun Kokonoe. I'll have even more surprises for you! Is he? Ah, so this is how you want to play. Well met, Mitsurugi. Alas, Muzan no Zan cannot hide the smell of the blood it draws. <laughs> None but you would notice such a faint fragrance. We shall fight without witnesses. If one of us falls, we bear the other no ill will. That was part of the agreement. That peace of mind really helps me focus. Now, here I come! I shall meet you! One. Fight! Ready? You suffer! Right 
and again, at times with swords, at times with sharp intuition alone. As the duel neared its end, they came to a natural pause. He is not the man I tested two weeks ago. He's not even the man he was at the start of today's duel. Shugen, shocked by Mitsurugi's rapid improvement in the midst of battle, suspected he was too feeble to defeat this young warrior. Even so, he still had one trick up his sleeve. Shinan Tsushima Ryuba Tojutsu had its roots in assassination, and Shugen Kokonwe was a master of these dark arts. If I break this seal on the forbidden technique, I could claim victory in this duel alone. Kokonoi art, mournful oblivion! Come on! What is this? Snow? It had seemed as though the forbidden technique had hit its mark. Yet, as the two warriors were about to clash, a single petal floated before Shugen's eyes. Given the moment to wander, his mind flashed to a single scene, a memory he held dear to his heart. A heartbeat passed. Shishio, Mitsurugi's new blade, slid between them. Mitsurugi had used a Tenpuku Sairyu secret technique. Step stone divide. His sword, straight up and thrust forward, twisted and deflected Shugen's blade. Yet this move was special. Swinging the blade over his shoulders in a skill he would later call Sinister Divide, Mitsurugi broke through and shattered Shugen's blade. The force of the attack sent Shugen flying. <laughs> this is what I get for using a technique I swore to abandon.
It was an honor to fight you, but I don't think this is the end. Though the fierce duel was over, Mitsurugi remained tense. He had noticed a great number of Kokonoe clansmen had come to surround them both. Excellent work, Heishiro Mitsurugi. Not only did you keep even with a great warrior, you emerged victorious. At his peak, he would have found and eliminated an advance unit. Yes, it was wise to surround him with extra warriors. Step aside, Heishiro Mitsurugi. We only have business with one man. Shugen Naokage Kokonoe. No, I'm not finished speaking with this man. Indubitably. Yamabuki! <laughs> I have waited long for this moment. The shade of night is our battlefield. Though strong, you cannot match us. Your battlefield, huh? Not a problem, then. Tenpo Kosaryu was made for combat! My Blade of Shura will claim victory! your mind or is it fear wait what are you looking at no it cannot be you're too late now akira okage Buster. Though the 
blade may be broken, the sheath is still of use. You really helped me out there. But, uh, that honor. Indeed, the wound. I doubt I will live much longer. But worry not. I shall die without regrets. You gave me another reason to keep training. Is that so? The stronger you are, the more you understand the strength of others. But I know next to nothing of your true power. So, let us do battle again once I'm stronger. I look forward to it. I'll go on ahead once I'm done here. Our next duel shall be in hell, at the edge of oblivion. Yeah, enjoy being one step ahead. Shugen Kokonoe, warrior of Shinden Tsushima Ryu. In the fires of hell, we shall meet again! Oh, my admirers are here. Come in. You, huh? <laughs> You've grown into quite the man. You've changed quite a bit yourself. I assume your presence means Gyobu was behind the attacks. Not all of them. But I will apologize for our crude treatment of you. I've done away with the ruffians sent after the Hidden Scroll. The Kokonoe clan are truly splintered. According to Gorozaiman, Yobu Kokonoe's trusted disciple, the trouble began about six months prior. Following Shugen's death, Yobu became increasingly unstable. It was then that a sinister rumor cropped up within the Kokonoe clan. Shugen's specter loomed over Gyobu's pillow, night after night. After begging Setsuka's silence, Gorozaiman spoke of further secrets. Apparently, a demon assassin was terrorizing nearby towns. This demon can make short work of skilled warriors, and in the two months since you left, even the son of a noble family was found stabbed. A grave crime. If caught, they'll be lucky to keep their head. And every day news of another death reached us, Shugen tormented my lord in dreams that night. So does that mean Gyobu killed all these people? I thought it all baseless rumors. That is, until I saw it myself. My lord wandering around town at night, as if possessed. From behind, he looked just like Shugen. The former demon assassin. Master, was the demon assassin? He was the greatest assassin the Kokonoe clan has ever known. I see he buried that truth after abandoning the clan. <sighs> if Lord Yobu is the new demon assassin, then it is a matter of life and death for the clan. We'll need secret arts unknown to him if we are to win. Hence why your goons came after me for the Hidden Scroll. I'm certain that was their intention, however foolish. If Lord Gyobu captures them in Zanki, they're as good as dead without a way to break free. But you... Shugen taught you how, did he not? I... beg you. 
Stop the demon assassin. If you do, I swear the Kokonoe clan will never disturb you again. Stop. You don't have to grovel. If that will not suffice, I, Goro Zaiman Yamabuki, shall spend my life atoning for how I have wronged you. Please. Please! Uh, I will think on it. Next. <sighs> yes, Master. Ha! Yeah! Too slow. You won't land a single scratch on your foes that way. Ah! Faint with both eyes and feet. Position your opponent with Zan no Muzan, then attack with Rising Crescent. A fine strategy. Incorporating the core Tsushima Ryu concept of cut without cutting. Or so you'd hoped I'd say. Why wage a full frontal assault against an opponent well versed in Shinden Tsushima Ryu? Ideally, Batojutsu kills in a single strike. But real battles are unpredictable. Expect the unexpected if your opponent is of equal or higher skill. Understood. Hidden techniques exist precisely for such occasions. I believe I taught you one quite recently that would serve you well right now. Oh, the alternate Batojutsu technique, Winter Funeral. That's it. But don't lose sight of the crucial part, the sheath. Control the sheath with two fingers and keep the other three loose. Okay. You said you wanted to show me something? What's this all of a sudden? It's not sudden at all. Today is our 12th annual Setsuka Day, right? It sounds so silly when you call it Setsuka Day. All right, here we are. Shall we? Master, but isn't this... I thought it would go well with your natural hair color. Go ahead. Try it on. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, but I can't. I mean, this doesn't suit me. It suits you very well. Cherry trees blossom upon Mount Yoshino. Unwittingly, we thought them snowflakes. Setsuka, my winter flower. I named you 12 years ago. How time flies. So it does. Thank you very much, Master. Master? Come now, dispense with the formalities. Do you know how long I saved for this kimono? Oh, um... Then... S shoot again? <laughs> Not... father? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I must take my leave. Hey, Setska. The exit's that way. Uh-huh. After his duel with Mitsurugi, Master seemed softer around the edges. It was as if he'd been hiding part of himself from the world. Even the techniques he taught me after that were different. Many of them were clearly made to kill. Were those assassination techniques? 
master's true skills. Here it is, the Kokonoe Estate. The truth about master waits inside. I'm sure I'll learn things I wish I'd never known. Be that as it may, I must stand firm. I shall summon Lord Gilbo. Do not forget why you are here. I came on the pretense of handing over the scroll. I hope this works. It's been a while. I hear you. Brought the hidden scroll in exchange for information about Shukan. You seem well, Gilbu. Here, let's get right to business. Mournful oblivion. I see. A secret art steeped in the ancient assassination practices. Only Shugan honed it to perfection. If you wish to know of Shugen's past, you must learn of the clan's history. Indubitably. Indubitably. Okay, let's hear it. Mixing in obscure words here and there, Yobu spoke solemnly of the past. The clan-based Shinan Tsushima Ryubatojutsu on ancient assassination techniques. Techniques so numerous and so varied that the clan soon split into two factions. One faction was the clan's public face, devoted to instruction and ceremony. The other operated in the shadows, killing dissenters and working as spies, the hidden Kokonoe. The clan prospered for many years, but the hidden Kokonoe soon sought to take over and set out to create an assassin with superhuman abilities. The methods they used were inhumane. Their quest became drenched in the blood of those who died under their ruthless training regimen. Eventually, an incredibly powerful killer was born. Narukami Maru later known as Shugen no Kage Kokonoe. Master. Believing his lord's orders just, Shugen slaughtered many of the clan's political adversaries. Guilty or merely falsely accused, all perished under his blade. But one day, the demon assassin met a woman who changed him forever. Her name was Anju. Like you, she had the blood of outlanders in her veins. As Anju spoke of foreign religion, Shugen began to harbor doubts about the hidden Kokonoe's methods. Long immersed in the corrupt practices of his faction, Shugen had access to all manner of secrets. His doubts soon turned to certainty. Betrayed by what he believed to be right, Shugen abandoned his home and name. His parting words were thus, I shall live by the blade alone. We shall pause here. 
Come again if you would know more. I am sure that cursed Nahokage will visit me this night. Gyobu Kokonoe was nothing like the man I knew before. What happened? What, what, what was that sound? It was faint, but ominous. Perhaps I imagined it. Have you learned what you wished to learn? Yes though not all of it. I studied his behaviors as I listened. I have a good feel for his presence now. Then, there was worth in having you meet. By the way, we've learned more about the demon assassin. We've had a skilled retainer trail Lord Gyobu when he went out at night. But the next morning, that retainer was a corpse, sword sheathed, face twisted in fright. Sounds like Zonki to me. As far as I know, only Shugen could break free of Zonki. Are you confident you can too? Master taught me the theory, but we'll see how it goes. The rest depends upon the information you give me. I shall provide all you ask. To track a person, one must become them. Think their thoughts, consider where they will go and when. When one's predictions line up with reality, the path to victory shall open. Guided by her master's teachings, Setska set after the demon assassin. Based, Based on the, on the intel, intel, the demon, demon assassin, assassin will pass through Murakumo Shrine. Shrine. Master, Master taught, taught me how to how break, break free of Zonki, but can, can I, I do it without practice? practice? Sokka? Why are you here? Hidden Kokonoe art Zonki. Obey me and suffocate! <laughs> I have to control my breathing. Faltering here means death. Stay calm. Zanki is a secret art that exemplifies the core concept of Shinden Tsushimaryu. Cut without cutting. It forces submission with a strong, unyielding will. So, rather than controlling the opponent's body, it takes hold of the mind instead. Yes, that's the gist of it. To defeat Zonki, one needs not a strong body, but a strong will. Still, resisting such concentrated power is difficult, even for the strongest of hearts. Typically, the victim is taken by surprise and killed before they can resist. I see. I remember when I was in its grip. I could only think of struggling out of it. Most people would. But if you know Zonki is coming, there are several ways to escape. I did it by creating an inviolable dominion in my mind's eye. An inviolable dominion? Yes. A space in your mind into which none may trespass. Anchor yourself to it, 
and take back your mind and body. My dominion. I see it. I can move. the technique before you fought the demon. Sakan, who are you? I am Gekyu Saikokunue, younger brother of the previous clan leader. Like Shugen, I left of my own volition. I also taught Shugen how to fight Zonki. But you must have caution. That man Zonki is... <coughs> Do I smell blood? Kill. I will kill you. Human. The greater one's malice, the more powerful their Zonki. Kyobu is a product of the hidden Kokunoe's curse, and thus I am no match for his power. Yet, his aura is so ominous, I sense an even greater power mixed in. Die! remember it so vividly, that frigid snowscape. Never had snow felt so warm. I shall never forget that day so long as I live. Shuken. The flower that bloomed that spring was a barren love blossoming silently amid the snow, eternally unrequited. And in spite of that, no, because of it, none may trespass on this place. This blossom shall never be broken! Shugan! Kyobu Kokonoe. I sympathize. Both you and I have suffered our hearts bound to a dead man. But now, I will live a life unburdened. I promised Shugen I would.
Kokonoe's art lives on through me! Was that mournful oblivion? No, it is even greater. It does not take life, but grant it. I call it return from oblivion. Shugen Ainu was far too kind for his own good. <laughs> Indubitably, your skill is unsurpassed. You shall remain alive, even if you can no longer draw your sword. Have you found your path, Setsuka? Yes. Once I master the secret arts of the Kokonoe clan, I will search for the remaining scrolls and track down that man. The secret arts will be of great use to you in your journey, I'm sure. I shall share with you any information I find on the other scrolls. I must thank you for all your help with the clan. No, with everything. Thank you, Saka. Rather, get you some. I don't mind, Sakar. Would you want to be called by a former name? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't. Getting a new name was like ridding myself of an evil spirit. Come to me any time you encounter trouble. You are like a granddaughter to me. No, more like a daughter. Hmm? Nothing at all. I pray for your good health and fortune, Setsuka. Thank you. Farewell. It's time for my journey to begin. Fell over here, did you? Good. Kokonoe Gyobu. You had so much potential. He's not a total loss. But I should find a new pawn. Shogun. 
Another year has passed, and I think I've finally found my purpose. Once I finish my task in Japan, I shall leave on a journey of vengeance. Not as a pupil who lost her master, but as a woman robbed of her love. That, that man, man stole, stole my master. master. He, he stole, stole my life. life. Now, now I, I live, live to defeat him. him. Getting my revenge will set me free. Master, I will find Heishiro Mitsuruki and slay him. Even if I must defy your wishes to do it. The flower that bloomed in spring was a barren love. Blossoming silently amid the snow, eternally unrequited, Dark clouds shade the wavering moon as the demonic swordswoman steps into the night.